Welcome back. Today we're going to get these LVLs up a couple of flights and review the bedroom framing. On the last video we had just started building one of the interior walls for the bedroom and now all of the interior walls are basically complete. Uh, we have a utility closet there and the master closet on the other side of this long wall. We have the walls for the stairway pocket and we also have the walls for the master bathroom uh, there in front of us. This is just a reminder of what the LVL looks like in the kitchen. So we're basically going to do this same thing on the bedroom side. So this is three 1.75 inch by 11 and a quarter inch um, LVLs uh, sandwiched together. And that's what we're going to do on the bedroom side uh, as well. Setting these LVLs on the bedroom side here is going to be a little bit easier than what we did in the kitchen because we have these interior bedroom walls already raised, which means that we're going to have a place to set the LVLs on while we're standing them and sandwiching them together. We use the chain hoist that I'm showing there to raise the oak post under the kitchen LVL uh, in a previous video, but here we're going to also use it to get this LVL from all the way down here to all the way up where we need it. Um, initially, I'm actually just going to use a rope and pull this LVL manually to get it up to this first floor landing, and then we'll use the chain hoist to get it further up to the second floor, which will start the creation of the subfloor for the loft section of the master bedroom section of the house. You can see I already have two LVLs raised already, and I did each LVL just a little bit differently, and of course, by the time you get the third one up, you've pretty much got the process nailed. Unlike the kitchen section of the house, which was very open, because we have the interior walls for the bedroom section up now, while it makes landing the LVOs a little bit easier, it's a little trickier getting them up because the space is just tighter. But because we don't yet have sheathing on the outside walls on these side walls yet, for reasons we discussed, uh, it does give me a, a through passage for this LVL on the, this near side and the far side so that I can just get it angled. So once I have that in place, we'll start by raising it manually and then hook it up to the chain hoist to get it fully in place. As a reminder, uh, an LVL is laminated veneer lumber, so you can think of it kind of like plywood. I really like working with it. Uh, these 22-foot LVLs are dead flat, they're dead straight, and when you sandwich them together, they're, they're stronger than normal sawn lumber. So it's a great solution for a, a long span. And most contractors will go to these if there's no budget constraints. They're a little bit more expensive than sawn lumber, but they're a lot easier to work with. Here you can see the chain hoist is set up, and I've got the strap running across to the top of the LVL. So I just really need to get it another three or four feet so that I can get some leverage so that I can push it up to the top. Then with pretty minimal effort on the chain hoist, I can just pull this up another three or four feet and that'll give me just enough room to be able to lift the low end uh, manually and get it up in place so that I can uh, start marrying the three LVLs together to create the cross beam for the bedroom section. I reviewed the actual sandwiching of the LVLs on an earlier video, so I won't go into that much detail uh, in this video for that, but you can revisit that one if you'd like to see it. So uh, in a little bit of movie magic, there you go, uh, LVL is done, and uh, so that's three LVLs tied together. Uh, the span is less than what's in the kitchen, so we won't need a supporting column the way that we did in the kitchen, and quite frankly, we probably didn't need it in the kitchen, but I wanted it there both for extra support and for aesthetics. Uh, so in this case, uh, the cross beam is up and we're going to start putting in the joist hangers. And these joist hangers are going to carry 2 by 12 joists uh, as the supporting floor structure for the second story loft. The plans originally called for 2 by 12 joists on the other side of this LVL going to the far wall as well. Uh, I'm actually going to go with 2 by 10s instead because we're never going to walk out there, really. Uh, there's going to be one small storage area on that side of the LVL, but the entire loft and the walking section of the house is going to be on the side of the LVL that I'm standing now. So going with 2x12s on this side, 2x10s on the other side, 
And again, that's a little bit of a change to the plans, um, but uh, because I know what the spaces are going to be used for, it's certainly sufficient for what we need. We're also going to change the height of the ceiling in the hallway leading from the great room into the bedroom section, which is another reason I went with 2 by 10s on the other side, because uh, in the areas where we're going to increase the height of the ceiling, those 2 by 10s are going to go away entirely. And for those who have been joking about the moat that we are building around our house, I'm excited to say that we are now backfilling the house, so it'll look a little bit more normal. So our bulldozer guy James came out today and uh, started backfilling the rest of the house. Uh, this will be not the final grading, but um, will just get us to a place where we can start building out the front porch area um, for the house, which will also have a an insulated part of the house uh, as the entryway and we couldn't really start that part of the build until we got this backfill done so uh, very excited to have this um, finished so this is what it looks like with backfill and gravel next time we'll look at the subfloor for the second floor loft this is where i'm at thanks for watching see you next time